As an example in her book, Catherine Kosak looks at alcohol content compared to calories of nine um, different beers. You can see the data plotted here with the regression line associated with it. The, the purpose of this video is to look at how to calculate that regression line by the formulas. But first, let's look at how R can produce this scatter plot and this regression line. Here we've produced the vector x associated with the alcohol content in the nine uh, beers, respectively. And here we've created the vector y associated with the calories of those nine beers. We've already looked at the plot command before, so we're plotting the x, the, uh, the alcohol content, uh, predicting the calories. There are some things that we'd like to add to this particular plot. And so here we've added the uh, label for the x-axis, a label for the y-axis, and adjusted the limits on the, on the y-axis. Let's run this script. Look at the results. So there's the x and y labels. The purpose of this video is to develop the uh, regression equation based on uh, the, the formulas for the regression equation. But it's also true that R can just calculate that uh, regression equation with the linear model, LM, Y being predicted by X. Let's run that particular script and see the results. Uh, you'll notice that it produces the coefficients for the regression line. The Y intercept is 25.03, and the slope on that line the coefficient on x is 26.32. I'm going to save that linear model in an object called mod, and then use the AB line function to plot that particular uh, line on the, add that to the graph. So here you'll notice that now we've got the regression line fitting on. The formulas for building that regression line use the sum of squares for x, the sum of squares for y, and the sum of squares for x, y. So let's uh, begin to calculate those. It will be convenient to build some tables as we go along. I'll represent these tables as a data frame, so let's begin with our given values for x and y. If I run this script, it produces this table, which is our x values which remember was the uh, alcohol content in each of the beers, and the Y values, which was the calories for each of those associated beers. So let's modify this table and calculate the uh, sum of squares in the following way. We'll need to know the mean of the X's, we'll call that X bar, and the mean of the Y's, we'll call that Y bar. We'll need, to we'll need to subtract x bar from each of the x's and y bar from each of the y's. Let's do that and build that into a table that we can do all the data together. So now our table has an x column, a y column, an x minus x bar column, and a y minus y bar column. Now if I was forced to do this, these calculations by hand, this is ex exactly what I would do, is keep track of things in this table format. I'd have my X column, my Y column, I'd find the mean of the X's and find the X uh, minus the uh, mean for each value, the Y minus the mean for each value, then I would square each of those uh, differences in X minus the X bars, and square the differences uh, of the y minus the y bars, build all of those columns. But I also need the SXY, that's not exactly a square, but in a way you can think of it as a square because you're having these x's times the y's. Now it's easy to find the sum of squares of the x's because I just need to add up those SX's. The sum of squares of y, I just need to add up those sy's, and the sum of squares of xy to add the appropriate things there. Now that those are added up, let's run that script and see what those values are. 
Okay, now I'm ready to apply the formula. Remember that the formula for the slope of this regression line was the sum of squares of x, y divided by the sum of squares of x. And it tells us that the slope is 26.318 something. Formula for the intercept is y bar minus the slope, which we just calculated, times uh, x bar. Let's run that script. Now remember that earlier we had, had uh, calculated the linear model and we had saved that in an object called mod. So let's put that in there and uh, run the script so that we can compare the two results. And sure enough, there's our intercept, which was 25.03. Notice that that's what we're getting in this intercept. And there's the slope, 26.32. And remember that our slope was uh, 26.318. Okay, so there's the idea. The point is that if I was going to do this calculation by hand, I would build this table and build things up a little step at a time. Knowing that that's the way I would do it by hand, then doing it in R is very easy because I just build those columns one at a time until I get the, res the desired result.